Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the Johnson Controls map gateway and how to set it up. Uh, the one I have is not brand new and I did not factory reset it, but I can show you the steps that you're going to need um, to do that. Let's see. So you're going to have to go to your network and choose the map. And then you're enter in the password of your map device. If you buy a brand new one, it'll come in a little card inside the box. Keep that card. Don't lose it. See, my computer automatically opens up Edge. This will not work in Edge. I'm telling you that now. So close that. Open up another browser. I use Chrome. Um, this does support Firefox, but Firefox is kind of slow. And it supports old uh, Internet Explorer. If you can get that on your computer, I don't even know if that will even run on the newer computers. But it says it, it um, supports it. And now the instructions say you can go to mapgateway.com and it'll take you there. But that is not the case. You need to put in the address of the map gateway. And that address is going to be 192.168.142.1. And it's going to bring you to a page like this the first time. Go ahead and go to advance, go ahead and proceed, and voila, you're in here. Now, the paper is also going to show you the username and password for your map gateway, and you'll go ahead and put that in. And now, if this is a brand new map gateway, once it loads, it's going to tell you that it needs a new username, both for the login screen and both for the SSID, uh, your network. And so whenever you do that, you're going to have to enter in your password, and it's going to kick you off automatically, right? Because now your SSID doesn't work anymore and what you're going to have to do then is go down here to network settings go to Wi-Fi manage known networks and go to that map device and forget it that way it won't keep trying that old password that is no longer good on there but then once you once you sign back in your computer will save it Boom. Okay, and then you can go back to the website. And then it might not ask you. Say it goes straight to my login screen. I don't get that um, unsecure anymore. Uh, you might, if you do, just do the same thing. log in uh, if you have devices uh, on the network then you'll see those and what you could do here you don't have to this isn't that but you could click on that device you're going to get to the home page if you have anything defined in your um, display of cct it's going to be here there's nothing to find here but that doesn't mean we can't see the points we come over here to inputs and we can see all the inputs that are loaded in this. Now this uh, controller, particular controller, doesn't have anything hooked up to it. It's just sitting on the, my desk. So you're not going to see any live points. But these are the these are the live points, but there's no sensors hooked up to it. And then you got your outputs. This one's an operator override. Uh, we can release that now. 
through the map tool. Done. That easy. You got your parameters. You can change parameters in your map tool. I like this for um, tab because tab can go in there and they can say, all right, the room is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And what that's going to do is it's going to put the controller into full cool. And then they can take their readings and they can go in there and say the room's at 60 degrees. That's going to kick on the heat. It's going to put the controller in full heat. They could take the readings and be done. And they never have to touch CCT. That's great, right? But before you could even get to this, well, you could get to this. Uh, but if before you could use your map to tool on CCT, if it's brand new out of the box, you have to come down here to settings and go to backnet router settings. And you'll have to enable backnet routing. It comes disabled. And when it comes disabled, you'll see zeros there this won't be filled out it's kind of grayed out so whenever you enable it you'll get an ip address now you won't be able to change this ip address this is always going to be the ip address of the map gateway on the wireless side now you can plug into this map gateway using ethernet but you'll have to find an external powered source for it turn it on you give it either DHCP or you give it an address 10.10.2.1, right? And then subnet of uh, 255.255.1.1. And if that was a legit ad address, it would take it. And then you can come down here and hit save. Uh, it's not working because of the way I have my computer hooked up here. It won't take it. Uh, wireless access point. Obviously, you can change the name of this. And there's your pass. There's my passphrase that I could change the name. I could change the passphrase here. So, okay. So now this will actually work in CCT, and I'll show you. And you don't have to open. You don't have to open the web browser of it. Just the first time you have to have it hooked up to turn on that uh, backnet routing. But in CCT, once you turn on that backnet routing, you should be able to come up here, hit map device, go ahead and hit map default if you haven't changed any of this. You'll have to choose how you're talking to the map device on your computer. And then the controllers everything on the network should show up here voila that's all i have plugged in i can hit next finish And voila, I'm in um, configuration, commissioning mode of CCT. That's all it is. That's, that's everything about the map tool. So if you got any questions, comments, leave them down below. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for viewing my channel.